welcome to the securing the weakest link. Weakest link could be you or I. Weakest link could be any basic employees in your organizations, or even could be your uh, CEO. The weakest link is anyone has access to your uh, network. It can placing your uh, organizations in jeopardy, can make you uh, the insider uh, threat. My name is Al Khalaf. I'm cybersecurity team leader at IDRAC uh, training and consultancies. Uh, let me start by giving you some background information about my uh, sessions. During my talk, I will cover how to address the uh, weakest link, which is good for you. And I will go over the most uh, common methodology uh, most organizations uh, follow and how our uh, company adopted successfully and improved uh, this uh, methodology by implemented uh, effective, uh, continuous, and engaging uh, cyber uh, security. So let us move on. Uh, I would like to draw our uh, attention now to the progress that uh, uh, Kuwait achieved on global cybersecurity uh, index. Uh, Kuwait moved up 73 places. Uh, Kuwait jumped from 138 in 2017 to rank 65. Kuwait also uh, secured the ninth position in Arab region, which is a significant uh, progress. Uh, thanks to everyone contributed to achieve that. And of course, on top of them, Citra team. Thank you, guys. You did a great uh, uh, job. I would like to uh, expand on GCI and elab elaborate uh, uh, further. GCI uh, published in 2015 by International Telecommunications uh, uh, Union. It helps country to identify area for improvement in the field of the cybersecurity as well as uh, motivate them to take action to improve their uh, uh, ranking. Uh, GCI uh, assessment, it's uh, done based on uh, the performance on uh, five pillars, uh, legal measures, technical measures, organizational me uh, measures, capacity building, and cooperations. And it's very clear the human factor uh, involved on in all uh, measures. And the weakest link, it's directly uh, touched with the capacity uh, uh, building. So for example, uh, uh, this conference uh, today, it's fall under the capacity building supporting the public uh, awareness uh, uh, campaign to raise the awareness national uh, level. So running a cybersecurity awareness program, it's not only help your organizations, but also uh, help Kuwait to improve uh, their ranking on GCI. So please keep that in consideration if you are still don't have cybersecurity awareness uh, program in your uh, organizations. Uh, in this slide, I want to illustrate on se uh, security posture. Uh, it's uh, uh, it show uh, the security modern stack. It's made of uh, four layers. The infrastructure layer, which is the critical component for business success and business continuity. Uh, and to protect this layer, you want to secure all the hardware and software, for example, your uh, servers, uh, uh, your database, your CRM, uh, your ERP solutions, and uh, et cetera. The next layer, it's the network layer, which is a critical component for the infrastructure uh, uh, layer. Protect this layer need you to secure all the web gateways, uh, need you to uh, start using threat prevention uh, firewall, IDS, IBS, uh, VBN, and uh, so on. The devices layer, it's using security analytics uh, uh, tool, uh, EDR solutions, end user management, certificate uh, uh, management, and etc. The first layer, obviously, is the people layer the soul of any organizations, the, their heart and their mind. But unfortunately, they are represent the weakest uh, uh, link. No matter how much you invest in your infrastructure layer, no matter how uh, sophisticated and advanced technology you are running in your uh, network, no matter even if you are using artificial intelligence 
to analyze your logs. In the end, it will be concentrated by people, by you, by the weakest uh, uh, link. Uh, so uh, 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 your security chain is not stronger than the weakest uh, link. Why every time we hear that and ident identify the human factor is the weakest uh, link? There is many re uh, reasons. One of the reasons it's uh, many of our employees is insufficient educated in cybersecurity. Uh, they don't have ability to identify the cyber threats. They don't have the skills how to uh, dealing and reporting such, uh, uh, such a threat. Many of them, they assume the company uh, will have measure to protect uh, itself. And many of them, they believe security is IT uh, task. They are not realize uh, the dangers of uh, clicking one rogue link and open and uh, uh, attachment uh, can be action, can be uh, 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 can be actions uh, play a huge role in, de in data uh, breach. They are, they are not uh, aware they are the prime, uh, 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 prime target for the cyber uh, attack. For all these uh, reasons, uh, the people are most vulnerable aspect in any uh, organizations. Uh, so how to tighten this weakest link? The key is building and running effective and continuous engaging cybersecurity awareness uh, program. Uh, this figure show you the standard continuous uh, awareness program. Most of the cybersecurity uh, vendor applying on their uh, platform. It has uh, four stage, starting with the uh, assessment stage. Then they release their uh, training uh, program, followed by reinforce uh, stage and the final stage measure the progress that happened from the uh, uh, previous uh, stage. At IDRAC, our company uh, adopted and improved uh, this methodology by creating and applying hybrid awareness educations by migrate the in-person training with the online continuous uh, training, which we'll discuss in details in subsequent uh, slide. So basically our methodology start with the assessment. The pre-assessment is extremely important stage. Uh, this stage help you to identify the weaknesses and strength in your organizations. It's help you to uh, provide you the result from this ass assessment. It's provide you the roadmap uh, for the desired future uh, 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 awareness program. Uh, you can using any assessment uh, tools provided uh, from the cybersecurity uh, vendors, Proofpoint, InfoSec, uh, no before. With our customer, we are uh, using no before uh, assessment tool. They are providing two scientifically assessment tool. The first one is called SABA, uh, Security Awareness Proficiency uh, uh, Assessment. It's help you to identify all the weaknesses uh, in your uh, uh, employees, and at the same time, it's a great baseline matrix for your aware awareness program that you can improve over uh, the time. And the second tool is called SCS, or Security Culture uh, Survey. Basically, this one gauge the uh, sentiments of your user uh, towards uh, the security uh, organization. And at the same time, it's help you to identify the culture uh, dimensions, which is seven dimensions, uh, the behavior, the attitude, the cognitions, compliance, norms, uh, responsibility, and uh, communications. After this stage, you will have a clear data about your organization's requirements. So you are ready to move to the second stage, which is the uh, uh, in-person training. Why in-person training? From our findings, we know that our people, they are not ready for the learning uh, cybersecurity from the internet. They need someone to guide them personally. They need someone to listen to their uh, challenge. They need someone to educate them uh, uh, in the classroom. And at the same time, cyber uh, in-person training 
uh, offer great opportunity to group activities, uh, interactions, uh, engagement, so that we uh, 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 added this stage uh, uh, for our methodology. You have to make sure your uh, in-person training cover all the uh, cybersecurity uh, topics, and at the same time, you have to make sure it's full interaction and engagement. Running PowerPoint slides and expect people to absorb the material and changing their behavior, this is not uh, work any, uh, uh, anymore. So once you finish from this uh, uh, stage, now uh, there is extra stage, which is the post uh, assessment. Now you want to evaluate the progress that happened after the in-person training. Uh, you need uh, to understand how our users understanding the cybersecurity uh, fundamentals. You already have data from uh, uh, pre-assessment, and now you have the post-assessment uh, data. You can uh, create a comparison between uh, this both uh, assessment to identify which area need for more improvement, which the high-risk uh, users still after the uh, training. The next uh, one, the reinforce uh, training. So for this stage, you need to keep your people in the no area. You have to retain uh, their information. You have to keep them up to date about uh, the cybersecurity and uh, uh, try to maximize their knowledge from the embarrassing uh, uh, training. So it's very uh, important stage. And there is crucial uh, reasons why we need for the uh, reinforcement. This is Eming House uh, forgetting curve. Uh, this curve describes uh, 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 the degrees in ability of, uh, of brain to retain the information over uh, uh, the time. It's clearly show how we start uh, forgetting what we learned over uh, the time. So now you can practice this curve, uh, try to recall your memory and remember Kuwait ranking in 2017, which just Share with you before a uh, couple of slides. Tomorrow you will find uh, yourself uh, forgetting 50% of what we what you learned today from this uh, uh, day one. It is normal. This is how our memory is working. It's uh, start leaking the information over the time. So to address this issue and support your uh, people memory, you need to running and keep cybersecurity uh, in continuous uh, uh, cycle. Next is the final uh, uh, stage, which is the measure stage. You need to keep uh, actively monitoring your cybersecurity uh, awareness. You need to uh, gauge and measure how would your user engage with the cyber attack. You need to running uh, simulations attack, uh, phishing attack, USB attack, uh, smishing attack, and measure how your user they are dealing with this one. They have the ability to identify this attack. They have ability to reporting this attack. So this uh, uh, stage will provide you more information about the weaknesses area and the high risk users that need for more uh, uh, focus. Uh, why do we need continuous uh, awareness? The cyber attack is grow, and the th uh, threat landscape it's uh, uh, evolving. Uh, cyber criminals key find the new ways to hack your users and the surface of the attack is expanding. For all these reasons, you need to keep running cybersecurity awareness uh, program, keep your users' knowledge in the acceptance uh, uh, level. Uh, they are aware about latest, uh, latest sorry, uh, 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 tricks from the cyber uh, criminal. So uh, uh, in, at Edrak, our company, uh, 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 gathering all this uh, uh, common practice, and uh, we uh, develop a project, it's called it ISAT, Iraq Cybersecurity Awareness uh, uh, Training. We put all this uh, common practice in this, uh, 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 in this uh, project. So basically, we start in with the pre-assessment using now before uh, uh, assessment tool to create baseline that we can improve over the time. Then we start running our uh, uh, in-house training project, RADE. Uh, by the way, RADE is the first Kuwaiti uh, uh, awareness program registered in Kuwait uh, uh, Library, International uh, National Library. 
and uh, this is the in-person training. Then uh, we follow by the post-assessment to uh, measure the uh, progress uh, and measure the knowledge from the in-person training. And then we starting the continuous uh, training, which is uh, no before platform. No before is number one uh, uh, worldwide uh, in cybersecurity awareness. They have huge library in different uh, language. So you can uh, generate and customize your uh, awareness and keep uh, ongoing with your uh, users. And the final stage, as I mentioned uh, before, uh, the measurement uh, uh, stage. Uh, finally, uh, your cybersecurity awareness starts with the upper management and end uh, with them. So you need uh, to uh, gain their uh, support before you're running your cybersecurity uh, uh, awareness. Most of the CEO and the uh, chairmen, they are not aware of uh, the risk of the cybersecurity. Uh, they don't understand exactly how it's affecting on uh, uh, their business. So you need to associate the risk of the lack of the awareness with the company risk. Here they will full understanding what's the meaning of the cybersecurity risk. CEO uh, would to know uh, exactly what's the consequence from one cyber attack uh, uh, due one human uh, error. So once you gain the CEO support, it will add a great value for your cybersecurity awareness. Everyone will follow the leader. In the same time, you need to gain the end user support, which is you. So you need to connect the cybersecurity score with uh, KBI metrics. You have to create uh, uh, competitions inside your uh, organizations. Everyone want to enhance their KBI, so everyone want to enhance his awareness, his awareness, sorry, uh, uh, score in the uh, uh, platform. By this way, you, uh, I'm, I'm guarantee you, you are going to running effective, comprehensive, and uh, continuous engaging uh, cybersecurity uh, awareness uh, program. Thank you for your time and attention. I know uh, everyone eager to back to the home. So uh, thank you very much for your uh, listen.